Hi friends and welcome back to my channel Lotus Geek. In today's video, we are going to fix up the issue reboot and select proper boot device whenever you are going to restart or start your PC. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and proceed. First of all, I suggest you to unplug each and every device that is not associated with your system. For example, your external Bluetooth device, external mouse, keyboard, any other external hard disk. Once you DHH, now go ahead and enter into your BIOS menu. In my Lenovo PC, the shortcut to enter in the BIOS menu is F1. I'll share each keys in the description of this video. So now I'll go ahead and enter into my BIOS menu by restarting my PC. You can see I'll go ahead and press the F1 key to enter into my BIOS menu. Now in BIOS menu, switch to the security tab. In security tab, you will find an option disable legacy support. My system is pretty old. That's why here in these options, the disable legacy support is not available, but at your end, the option will be definitely available either in the security tab or in this startup tab. Once you find the option legacy support, make sure you disable it in your system. Now in security tab, you need to find the option of CSM. The same option will be available either in security tab or in this startup tab. At my end, the option is available in this startup tab. Here is this CSM support option. I cannot highlight because my UEF5 boot is currently bought. So if at your end, if it is UEF5 bought only, you can see the CSM support is shown directly in front of you. You need to enter it and make sure using the up and down keys, you choose the option yes. After that, hit the FN key and then hit the enter key to save the configuration. Now your system will restart again. Once restart, check if the problem is resolved or not. If it is still there, again enter into your BIOS menu as shown over here and then here choose the F12 key which is startup device boot menu. In startup type, make sure you choose your attach hard disk as the first boot menu. For example, at my end here, two boot menus are shown. If I hit the enter key to whichever boot menu, the, my system will start booting using that boot menu. First one is my hard disk and second one is my LAN. So I have chosen my hard disk at my boot menu. So make sure you choose your hard disk as your first boot menu and then click on the enter button. It will go ahead and restart your PC. If these two methods doesn't work out, they're going to proceed to the third step. Now in third step, you need a Windows 10 bootable USB drive. I hope you know how to create a bootable USB. Once you have created Windows 10 bootable USB, go ahead and boot using that USB drive into your system. Now I'll go ahead and boot my system using the bootable USB drive. Now here, choose the next option to continue. Now here, instead of install now, choose the option repair your computer. Now here, click on troubleshoot and choose the option command prompt. Now type here disk part and then hit the enter button. Now type here list disk and then hit the enter button. Now type here select disk 0 because disk 0 is the only disk I have. Make sure you deattach all other disk except the default hard disk of your system. Now type here list partition. Again hit the enter key. Now here two partitions are shown. The first partition 
is my system reserved and is second partition is where my windows is installed you can verify the same by checking the size of the partition so type here select partition 2 because partition 2 is my c drive type here active and then hit the enter key now type the exit and again hit exit now go ahead and restart your system if this also doesn't work out the only option we are left with is again troubleshoot command prompt and type here boot rack space slash fix boot then hit the enter button if you get access is denied type here boot secti space slash nt60 space sys and then hit the enter key now again type boot rack space slash fix boot now the next command is boot rack space slash fix mbr lastly is boot rack space slash rebuild bcd and then hit the enter key you can see that the installation boot list yes no and all choose the option a or type a and then hit the enter key the operation is completed successfully now exit it go ahead and restart your system this time your problem will be fully fixed however if it is still there the only option you are left with is to do a clean install of windows if this video works out for you friends kindly click on the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon to continue receiving updates from my channel don't forget to support my channel friends thank you so much thank you for watching my channel